Hi boys and girls, today we are on lesson 20. Our I can statement is I can use rectangular arrays to investigate odd and even numbers. So today you're going to need a pencil and a piece of paper to follow along. Um, this is the last lesson for our module, so after you finish this one you can go back and start reviewing. So part, our first question says partner A, you're going to make two rows of three and partner B, you're going to make two rows of four. If you don't have a partner to do this with, that's okay. You could just do both on your own. So if you look at partner A's work, on the left it says how many tiles, even or odd. So if we count the two rows, remember rows go across this way, of three, we get six tiles. Is six even or odd? Good, even, because there's you can have you can pair each one up together. Now if we look at partner B's on the right, it says how many tiles? So we have two rows of four, so that makes eight tiles. Is that even or odd? Good, that is even because there, you can have pairs and there's nothing left over. You have four pairs of two. So let's see what happens when we add those together. So you have two even numbers, because you had six and eight, which were both even, and now we're going to slide them together and we're going to add them all together. What do we have now? Good, we have 14 tiles. Is 14 even or odd? Good, 14 is even because there's nothing left over and you have pairs that match up. In this case, we'd have seven pairs. Now let's see what happens when we add an even and an odd number together. So partner A, you're going to make two rows of three. And partner B, you're going to make two rows of three. And then you're going to add one more tile to the top row. So now you're adding an even and an odd number. I want you to try that on your own, and then once you're ready, you can come play the video, and I'll show you what it should look like. So two rows, so one, two, and then each row you need to have three. And then the other one, you're going to have two rows of three, and then you're going to, so you'd have two rows, and then one, two, three, one, two, three, and then you're going to add one extra on the top row. So go ahead and do that, and then come back when you're ready. All right, this is what it would look like. So the one that has two rows of three, is that even or odd? Good, that one is even because there's three pairs and there's nothing left over. And the one on the right, is that even or odd? Good, that's odd because there's three pairs, but there's one tile left over. That yellow tile on top is by itself and it doesn't have a pair to go with it. So now we're going to slide them together. How many tiles is it even or odd? So how many tiles are they all together when we slide them together? Let's count together. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So it's 13 tiles. Is 13 even or odd? Good. It's odd because there's not a pair to go with that 13th tile. So when you add an even and an odd number together, it is still odd. Let's see what happens when you add an odd number and an odd number together. So partner A, you're going to make two rows of three and then add one more on the top row. And so two rows and within each one you're going to have three and then you're going to add one more on the top. Partner B, you're going to have two, two rows of four and then add one more tile on the bottom row on the left. So I want you to give that a try, and when you're ready, come on back so you can see what it looks like. All right, if your tiles looked like this, give yourself a big kiss on the brain. Great job. So is the one on the left even or odd? Good, odd. And is the one on the right even or odd? Good, that's odd, because they both have one extra left over. So let's see what happens when we slide them together. How many tiles are there all together? Let's count by twos. Ready? 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. There are 16 tiles all together in this array. And is it even or odd? Good, it's even because there isn't there are an equal amount of pairs. There's pairs and there's nothing left over. So when you add an odd and an odd number together, you get an even number. So let's complete this chart. When we add in an even number and an even number together, like six and four, our answer was good, even. When we added an even and an odd number together, like six and seven, what was our answer? Was it even or odd? Good, it was odd. And when we added an odd and an odd number together, was that even or odd? Good, it was even. Very nice job. Here is our application problem for today. It says, Mrs. Boxer has 11 boys and 9 girls at a grade 2 party. Write the equation to show the number of people. Part B asks you to are the add-ins even or odd. And Part C says, Mrs. Boxer wants to pair everyone up for a game. Does she have the right number of people for everyone to have a partner? So I'm going to zoom out so that you can see my board. Remember when you start your problem you always need to have your read, draw, and write. So I'm going to draw our 11 boys. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And I'm gonna draw our nine girls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it asks, so we read our problem. So I'm gonna give that a check. So I need to write an equation to show our total number of people. So we need to do 11 of the boys plus 9 for the girls. When we do 11 plus 9, let's think 11, we can count up 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So 11 plus 9 is 20. Where are add-ins even or odd? Good. Both of our add-ins, both of the parts of our problem, were odd. So when we add an odd number plus an odd number, do we get an even or an odd number? Good. We get an even number. So remember, odd plus odd equals even. So now it says Mrs. Boxer wants to pair everyone up for a game. Does she have the right number of people for everyone to have a partner? So I'm going to circle. Remember, partners, they're paired. There's two of them in a group. So I'm going to circle two groups of two. One group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups. Oh, that one's going to stay there. Six groups. Seven groups, eight groups, nine groups. Now, there's no more girls for this person to pair with, and there's no more boys for this person to pair with, but if we put them together, they can be paired together. Is there anyone left over now? No, so everyone has a pair. So we've read our problem, and we've drawn our picture. Now we need to write our sentence. So it's going to say, Mrs. Boxer has 
the right number for every one to have a pair. So we've read our problem, we've drawn our picture, and we've write, written our sentence. So remember our sentence says, Mrs. Boxer has the right number for everyone to have a pair. So I'm going to zoom out so we can see our problem set. So it says, use the objects to create an array. So you're going to look at part A and see how many objects there are. They want you to make that into an array. Remember the amount, same amount of equal amounts of rows, equal amounts of groups in an array. Then they have to say, is there an even or odd number of circles? Now they want you to redraw the picture with one less circle and then tell them, is it even or odd? We're going to do the same thing for part B and C. Number two says solve. Tell if each number is odd, O, or even E. The first one has been done for you. So A says 6 plus 4 equals 10. So you're adding an even plus an even equals an odd. So now for part B, you need to solve for 17 plus 2. What's the answer? And then you have to figure out if 17 is even or odd if two is even or odd, and if your answer is even or odd. And then you're going to do the same thing for C, D, E, and F. Number three says write two examples for each case. Write for answer are even or odd. The first one has been started for you. So part A says add an even number to an even number. Do you want to have another one that has two even numbers being added together? Part B, you want to add an odd number and an even number. In part C, you have to add an odd number and an odd number. That is all that we have for today. Remember, this is the last lesson for this unit, for this module. We have officially finished module six. Great job. We will be doing some review tomorrow. Uh, make sure you go back and watch some old videos that maybe you missed. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know. And make sure you send pictures of all your work. I miss you and I love you all. Great job, everyone. Bye.